Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to cover the topic of AI. As it seems to be everywhere these days, we seem to be uh, from your microwave to your washing machine, everything seems to have AI built into it. I just wanted to see if it actually will, you know, eventually when AI starts coming through, and there is some, as you can see here, the Asus uh, GTBE 19000 AI is one of the first kind of routers to start having uh, AI built into it. And uh, it actually, is it going to add anything to us? And secondly, can AI actually help us diagnose any issues with our uh, router or router um, and, you know, around Wi-Fi or the logs that it produces and things like that? Because right now the Asus routers particularly and probably other brands as well out there have like admin tools where you can go into the uh, like web browser kind of uh, GUI of it and then you'll be able to view your logs. But do we actually understand what them logs are showing? I know I've done some previous videos, so if you do want to know how to access those on Asus routers, uh, then have a look through the uh, playlist and previous videos I've got where we go through that. Also, you can see is that there's a lot more built into this. So are they going to get more expensive? And it probably looks like it with perhaps with tariffs and everything else that's coming through um, and the way things are, are getting more and more expensive. So it's just a thing to be uh, many things to think about now. So as you can see here, this is the uh, particular, this is the Asus uh, uh, Rapture GTBE 19000 AI. Um, so it's always got a nice uh, short uh, name to it. So you can see that now before we had kind of uh, uh, CPUs in there and RAM we used to talk about. So it used to be like the quad core uh, 2.6 gigahertz CPU and things like that. Now they've got MPUs and MCUs um, to basically do the AI processing. So they all work together. And you can see here that now we've got uh, four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and then 32 gigabytes of uh, storage. Uh, so that's like your mini like kind of hard drive where it stores all your firmware logs and things like that and your settings. So it just keeps all that everything running. And of course the CPU is important as well as the RAM um, for actually processing your network. So if you've got these more powerful ones, especially Wi-Fi 7, um, and then also you've got 10 gigabit running through that it takes a lot of processing power So you'll notice that these CPUs uh, Will start and RAM and things like that will start getting bigger and bigger over time But I think right now we got to a, a point where most of the uh, Asus and all the other brands where they have quad-core very high CPU clock speeds and four gigs of RAM and you know plenty of storage kind of thing built into it there so you know just to run that the wi-fi router um so i don't think we're going to get too bit much bigger and everything else but again they're going to start adding these npus and mcus these kind of processing units that we'll move on to and i'll explain later on as we go through but think of so what is uh, ai and wi-fi so think of them together so simple explanation i can think of is uh, think of AI Wi-Fi as having a super smart assistant managing your internet uh, and it's always thinking 24 7 so instead of traditional Wi-Fi that works the same way all the time AI Wi-Fi actually will learn and adapt uh, to make your internet experience better and automatically so again you know we already have things built into the most of the routers nowadays where it will uh, change the channels for the devices automatically give you try and give you the best uh, signal so the signal strength and then the band so it'll go between 2.4 and 5 and 6 automatically band steering so it has some kind of intelligence there where it's working through but hopefully with AI what that would bring is more intelligence to it so it will start looking at the devices that are slowing down the network any issues through as we said before through the logs on there and see what devices keep constantly disconnecting and is it best that they're trying on the 5 gig all the time so uh, band and so they will swap it to the 2.4 permanently things like that so hopefully it will get that little bit more intelligent don't expect it to start being completely as we already know AI is uh, coming on leaps and bounds every day kind of thing or amazing stuff it can do but it's going to be a limit on what it can do within the router but again it's going to help with uh, think different things so basically again how is it different from regular wi-fi so traditional wi-fi is like having a i suppose a basic thermostat it does one job and you have to manually adjust it when uh, things change ai wi-fi is like having a smart uh, thermostat 
uh, that learns your habits, predicts what you need and adjusts everything automatically before you even notice a problem. So hopefully it will adapt everything as we said before the ai constantly watches how people use the network spots patterns and makes intelligent decisions to keep everything running smoothly and it's kind of like i suppose like how netflix uh, learns your what shows you like and suggests new one but for your internet connection this is what the ai will do is try and uh, monitor everything and hopefully with these mpus and mcus that are actually built in the ai models won't have to go to the cloud It'll be all on uh, on device, so within the router. So no one is going to, for privacy again, will be recording or looking at your information. So I know it's a big thing around privacy. So what this means for your daily experience. So hopefully uh, these points, it will hopefully make things better. So you've got faster, more reliable internet. So the system automatically finds the best path for your data. So like the different bands and channels, like a GPS that constantly reroutes your you're around traffic jams so you won't uh, hit into the traffic and everything else so hopefully it will reroute there there you got fewer uh, frustrating moments hopefully when you know you get buffering and things like that so hopefully it'll remember when your video call would freeze and your streaming would buffer ai wi-fi predicts these problems and hopefully fixes them before they happen and also can see perhaps, you know, at, at between certain times you're using your work laptop more for video conferencing so it can balance out uh, and prioritize automatically. So again, as we talk, this smarter prioritization. So if you have an important video meeting uh, while someone else is also downloading a large file, the AI automatically gives you the priority. I know we have quality of service kind of thing for built into that. But that's like a rule set as well. So hopefully this will get a little bit smarter and just add on to the features that we've got. Uh, better security. So I'm hoping this system acts like a perhaps like a, a digital security guard. Because I know we have like Netgear and TP-Link and Asus all have their own security built into them. And some of them actually, you know, you have subscriptions. So of course you don't want another one to pay more money. Uh, thankfully, that's why I like Asus. You don't have to pay for it. It's just built in. Again, none of these things are foolproof, but hopefully the better security is constantly watching for suspicious, suspicious activity and blocking the threats. Uh, so like an intelligent firewall. Um, so hopefully, again, it's just adding on to the features that we already have built in. Hopefully for real world benefits, um, you actually notice. So kind of thing like streaming uh, and seamless moments when you sort of like Having your uh, video calls, as we said, AI will smooth out all the drops and everything else. Hopefully for IT, uh, every time something goes wrong, the AI will fix the problems automatically so you won't have to log into your router or restart it. If it feels like it needs a restart, it will automatically restart for you. Hopefully prompt you before it does it. Again, predicting maintenance. It's going to basically try and work out the best Wi-Fi signals and everything else. Um, and then to basically appreciate the AI, hopefully how it works is to understand the different types of computer brains that make it possible. So these processing units work together like a team, um, basically a specialist of each of their tasks. So as I said to you before, the new uh, AI routers will have the things like you can see on the Asus where you've got the CPU, MPU and MCU. So firstly, we, we have out of those uh, three processors is the CPU and that's the central processing unit. So again, we're always quite familiar with that. We've had been talking about that for a lot, very long time, where in this example, we have the quad core 2.6 gigahertz CPU. Um, so again, the central processing unit, you can think of it as like a general manager of a company. It's the main brain that coordinates everything. Think of it as the person who makes decisions and manages tasks and keeps the whole operation running smoothly. CPUs are excellent at handling complex decisions and managing multiple tasks at once. Um, again, they are you know a good uh, a CPU. They can process lots of things very fast and everything else, but they can only do certain instructions. In AI Wi-Fi system, the CPU handles basically the overall coordination, managing the network settings making high level decisions about how to route your traffic and ensuring all the different components work together properly. So again, that's around your the actual processing, you know, your networking for your Ethernet ports and things like that. Moving on secondly to the MPU. So this is the AI specialist. So this is the neural processing unit. Uh, so it sounds very uh, 
very fussy, <laughs> very fancy. So the NPU is the AI specialist of the team. Uh, while a CPU is like a general manager, you can handle any task. An MPU is like a hiring a specialist who's incredibly good at one specific thing, and that's artificial intelligence and machine learning. MPUs are designed specifically to think like the human brain, so they're processing information in a way that mimics our neurons. Uh, they're incredibly efficient at recognizing patterns, making predictions, and learning from data exactly what makes AI Wi-Fi so smart. An MPU can process AI tasks 10 to 50 times more efficiently than other processors, so uh, while using much less power as well. So in your AI Wi-Fi system, for example, the MPU is constantly analyzing network patterns, predicting what users will need next, and making split-second decisions to optimize your performance. So it's, it's what enables a system to learn your habits and automatically improve your internet experience. Again, it can do it really quick. It's constantly uh, looking at analyzing your patterns. And again, hopefully having this processor built into the actual router, you won't go into the cloud, so everything will be processed on the actual router and on device. So hopefully making it a bit more secure for your privacy as well. And lastly, the MCU, so that's a dedicated worker, you can think of it. So it's a microcontroller unit. It's like a dedicated worker who handles specific focus tasks. So unlike the CPU that manages everything uh, or manages everything or the MPU that handles complex AI thinking, an MCU is designed to control simple but important functions uh, reliable and efficiently. So the MCUs are perfect for real-time tasks that need to happen immediately without delay. They're like the work who monitors the temperature, controls the lights or manages your door locks. Simple tasks that need to be done consistently. So for example, in AI Wi-Fi networks, the MCU might handle tasks like monitoring signal strength, controlling antenna positioning, or managing power levels for individual access points. They ensure the basic functions work perfectly with this, uh, while the CPU and the MPU handle the more complex decision making. So it's very complex nowadays. I mean, you think of a router as just Wi-Fi before, and now we've got all these things with AI, MPUs and MCUs, all these extra processors and quad core, you know, pros. it's like a whole, more than a, a, a whole PC kind of thing built into your Wi-Fi router. So you can understand now the price of these things are going up. But hopefully over time they do drop down in price and again we'll I'll have to test this and then probably we'll have to see them come out for a while just to see if there really does make a benefit on here i'm hoping with these kind of patterns um and these things kind of thing i've described that it will actually help us all you know because we're thinking of all these three processes as well uh, coordinating with each other uh, together they should create an ai wi-fi system that's just as fast and reliable but truly intelligent and hopefully adapt to what we how we're using it um, and make our just lives easier to be honest and faster so if like for gaming for ping routes and things like that it's automatically going to do for vpns it'll automatically see if we have a kind of a habit of switching on a vpn for something it'll ha perhaps if we forget then it'll automatically remind us alerts for security as well if it sees unusual activity so also, you know, for example, hopefully with the AI, it will recognize patterns. So it'll see a smart plug using one gigabyte of data a day and understand that's very unusual. So it will alert you to it automatically or even block it automatically or do something, you know, to put extra security around it to ring fence it. So again, it's those kind of things I want to see that they actually start building into it and actually using these processes and things like that properly and hopefully it'll make our lives easier. Again, this will probably come to the very high-end routers um, first and then hopefully trickle down. Um, as we can see, as I said already with this Asus one, you can see this uh, beast of a router, you know, they're not small and it's probably going to be very expensive, but we have their D-Link, so they have some of their smaller ones as well. They've got uh, starting to have AI in them. Um, so you can see here their pro AI routers they've got, and it's Wi-Fi 6. And basically, they're using most of this AI right now for mesh networking. So it's intelligent if you've got multiple of these around your house. Again, you can see here, basically, the Eagle Pro AI series uh, brings AI enhanced capabilities to optimize your Wi-Fi. Again, all of this is quite sort of like sales kind of thing. But hopefully, 
you know the people behind her are actually putting some thought into it and i'm sure they are and so it will actually bring better things and experience for us in wi-fi and, and faster speeding for, from gaming to video streaming just having multiple devices connected and you can see here as well the tp link they've got ai driven mesh networks as well so you can see here how they're hopefully bringing that as well you know through you know thicker walls and how it's going to actually do band steering and things like that where we've discussed before and how it can see here and do optimize with the ai so it's much more intelligent how it's redirecting uh, traffic on the network and again you can see here that some of the new ones with the ai so like with the asus this actually has a new dashboard i think it's asus wrt 6.0 is the new firmware in this and it actually has a built-in dashboard that actually tells you where the interference is coming from so you can see here the microwave is affecting the wi-fi so it redirect it um, or any other device that's actually uh, affecting it so you can, hopefully that will bring everything alive and everything else to these things so as we can see if we go back to the ai mesh here you can see again they've got an ai assistant as well so and they're coming to multiple and even to uh, range extenders so hopefully as we know these ranges that really aren't worth it most of the time if you're trying to, if it's just basic small speeds and you want to extend it across the house then it's good but hopefully these will actually bring more information to it as you can see here and extend it and make life uh, easier for it but i would say if you are looking for an ai router just to make sure that you are do the specifications check to make sure they do have a c well always good to have a cpu but make sure they have an mpu and mcu kind of thing actually have actually have the hardware to run the ai and it's not just ai that's kind of like just a ter general term they've just put into it just to make it sound fancy um, and actually it's got the hardware built into it so i'd like to uh, hear from your comments as well what you think about ai and how that's going to bring into wi-fi routers again um, will, will you be buying one because I know as they're going to be quite expensive and it's going to be is it worth the upgrade if you've already got a Wi-Fi 6, 6E or Wi-Fi 7 router and would you buy purposely go and buy one because it's got AI built into it I personally probably right now probably not um, I, I would probably buy one to test and just to ha have a look and then uh, and to uh, see what how it actually works and compares to the current Wi-Fi 7 and Wi-Fi 6E routers but I think right now, I think uh, with the Wi-Fi 7 and 6E, to be honest, um, they're plenty fast. And most of the devices are still, I, I even get today, um, still uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So they're not even reaching the 5, uh, let alone the 6, uh, or using Wi-Fi 7 technology yet. But again, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video useful. And have a great day.